Live from Television City in Hollywood. Brightest stars making their television appearance in full color. Brought to you by Chrysler Corporation, maker of these five great cars. Limit, Bond, DeSoto, Chrysler, and the exclusive Imperial. Chrysler Corporation. your host for Chrysler Corporation, William Lundigan. Good evening. Tonight's Shower of Stars presents Ethel Merman Showstoppers. Of course, Ethel Merman's name always makes the lights on the marquee shine a lot brighter and buying tickets at the box office a whole lot harder. But we happen to know a little ticket office on 44th Street right off Broadway. Somehow they always manage to dig up a pair, so come on. Let's go to the show. Come along, hurry up, get a move on. You're going to a Broadway show. Look alive, shake a leg. Time's a-wasting, get tickets for that Broadway show. That plane and fancy got smashed reviews, and I can't wait to hear that dame who sings. Young and foolish, why is it wrong to be? Roy Alvin and stops the show, stops the show, stops the show. They say that Fanny's the smash of the town, where each night they say the roof comes down. Only you, long as I may live, Fanny, Fanny, Fanny. That must really stop the show, stop the show, stop the show. Show stoppers, everyone. They haven't invented weather bad enough to keep people away from a great performance. A showstopper, I mean. When it happens, it's a real thrill. If you were in the audience the night when Girl Crazy opened, you know what I mean. George and Ira Gershman wrote a number for the show called I've Got Rhythm. And when the little girl who sang it finished belting out that rhythm, the audience nearly tore the theater apart. And from then on, the whole town went girl crazy. So here is the girl that the town went crazy about, singing the song that stopped the show, Miss Ethel Merman.
I got sun songs, moon songs, good saloon songs, bride songs, groom songs, shaboom songs. I got some dandy double whammy songs. Miss my mammy down in Alabama songs. What do you got? What have you got? What do you got? I'm telling you, you were louder than ever. <laughs> Thank you, Red. When I sing, I want him to hear me. Well, I've got news for you. We just got a phone call from a guy in Denver, and he said you sounded wonderful, and he doesn't even have a television set. <laughs> Maybe I ought to tone down a little. You know, sing something softer, like a love song, something like well, that. Well, now, if you do, you're leaving yourself wide open, because... Oh, yeah? Now, that's my racket, you know. It is? <clears throat> I hear music, but there's no one oh, near. Oh, Red, that was the last... Show. We can't do it again. No, no. Oh. oh, now, Red, wait a minute. That music sneaking in is Cole Porter's All of You from the new Broadway hit, Silk Stockings. Ah, real showstopper. Yeah. <laughs> you wait till you hear it, folks. This number is one of the reasons why Silk Stockings is going to have a long run. <laughs> <laughs> I love the looks of you, the lure of you, the sweet of you. The pure of you, the eyes, the arms, the mouth of you, La, da, 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 da. the east, west, north, and the south of you. 
of you. I feel like a compass. <laughs> I'd love to gain complete control of you. You mean like CBS? Yeah. <laughs> Well, tomorrow's the deadline. I've already mailed mine in to Uncle Sam. <laughs> so love at least a small percent of me do. For I love all of you. Mother wanted me to drive a pie wagon. <laughs> So a few years ago, an up-and-coming young comedian met a, yo a young up-and-coming actress. And so they got married. And they became an up-and-coming young couple. These two talented people are now the outstanding man and wife team in the music world and supper clubs. From the Broadway hit, High Button Shoes, the song, I Still Get Jealous, it's done by Peter Lynn Hayes and Mary Healy. I've told you once, I've told you a hundred times, it isn't polite to flirt with other men. We go to a party, I speak to the hostess, and the next thing I know, I turn around and you're at, uh... Mary, that's exactly what I mean. Peter, I do believe you're jealous. Jealous? Hmm. Time has treated our love kindly, but I still adore you blindly. There can never be Another love for me I still get jealous When they look at me Remember the time you winked at the guy And I got the punch in the eye I may not show it But I do Why can't you flirt with the guys that are small Instead of the guys that are tall It's more than I can bear Inside When they stop and stare I thought Yes, they think you're too good to be true. The guy that marries the homelier kind settles for peace of mind. Jealous when we kiss good Your kisses night. are sweet. I like them a lot. They're worth all the troubles I've got. Unless you hold me extra tight. Because I'm jealous as can be, I wish that you would flirt with me. And dear, I know a secret. Pray tell. You didn't know how. Yes, yes. I still get jealous Cause it pleases you Hi, Mom. Hi, Pop. <laughs> Quiet and you can hear Peter's bones crack. <laughs> Isn't Mary big for 12? <laughs> Thank heavens the house is in my name. <laughs> no, you were going to wear spats. <laughs> I still get jealous Cause it pleases why In 1951, the musical comedy, Pal Joey, came back to Broadway with a book by John O'Hara and a great score by Rodgers and Hart. We're lucky to have with us the singing and dancing star of Pal Joey, Mr. Harold Lang. And he'll be assisted by Miss Cindy Robbins in the song that stopped that show in its tracks. I could write a book. It's really a lesson in geography. 
because when we get over to the cages, I want you to tell me the name of the animal and what country it's from. You see, each and every animal. Children, I didn't dismiss class. Well, I thought you said class was dismissed, and I had to stay after school. Well, what about the children? Well, I, I... I got a lot of learning to catch up on. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, I never learned to spell, at least not well. But my busy mind is burning to use what learning I've got. I won't waste any time. I'll strike while the iron is hot. If they ask me, I could ride a bull about the way you walk and whisper and look. I could write a preface on how we met so the world would never forget. And the simple secret of the plot is just to tell them that I love you a lot. Then the world discovers as my book ends how to make two lovers a friend. Well, the animals, animals. well, uh, let me introduce you to them personally. Step into my kangaroo taxi. And the lion is the king of the beasts.
another showstopper, as brilliant an array of beauties as you'll ever see on the road, the station wagons of the forward look. Ever see a more beautiful sight in your life? And speaking of beautiful sights, here comes Mary Costa. Hi, Mary. Hi, Bill. You look mighty proud of this bill of Belvedere Suburban you're driving here. You bet I am, Bill. You know, it not only has a lot of class as a style setter, but it's a mighty practical car, too. Especially for a family with a yen for picnicking or a place in the country. Mm -hmm. You can sure carry a lot of things in here. <laughs> and especially when the seats are folded down as they are right now. You are so right. And when they're up, eight people can be seated very comfortably. And take a look at this DeSoto all-steel station wagon. Makes a real sporting setup for a couple of fellas going fishing. Real style in all the lines of that car, isn't it? Real sturdiness, too, in that all-steel body, which was first introduced by Chrysler Corporation and is a feature of all our station wagons. Here's the Dodge Sierra. What a smart looking station wagon that is. It's wonderful for the family, of course, and a lot of people find it ideal for business. It has a tremendous capacity, and its appearance lends a note of prestige. The beautiful Chrysler Town and Country station wagon. Who wouldn't be proud to arrive on any occasion in this lovely car? It has such dignity and style. Oh, Mary, you say that so nicely, <laughs> and you're so right. No matter what your need, there is a station wagon of the forward look to fill it. Two-door and four-door models, lots of color and color combinations, all so useful and all so good-looking. Wouldn't you like to see one of these station wagons parked in front of your house? Well, you can. Just drop into your dealer and see and drive the station wagons of the forward look. I suppose the most versatile of all our popular composers is the great Irving Berlin. Remember his wonderful score of Annie Get Your Gun? Ethel Merman played Annie, and night after night she stopped the show cold with one of the all-time great comedy numbers. Tonight we bring you an augmented version rendered by that um, sophisticated trio from the Ozarks, the Moonshine 5 minus 2, otherwise known as Merman Hayes and Healy in Do and What Comes Naturally. Sister Sam! What? What is that up there? Why, Sister Sue, I do declare that's a Peter Bird! A Peter Bird? Yeah! I'm gonna shoot Yeah, it. you do that, you do that! <laughs> that ain't no Peter Bird. Well, you're right, that's a man. That's a man. <laughs> that ain't bird. No, it's got a filter. <laughs> the folks are dumb where we come from. They ain't had any learning. Still they're happy as can be. Doing what comes naturally. Doing what comes naturally. The folks like us. With your fella in the pale moonlight You don't have to come from a great big town Not to go picking berries in an evening gown That comes naturally That comes naturally My uncle out in Texas Never. Can't even write his name He signs his checks with X's But they cash them just the same Grandpa Dick was 
was always sick but never saw a doctor. He just died at 93. And the wind went up naturally. And the wind went up naturally. You don't have to have a professor's dome Not to go for the honey when the bee's at home We know that comes naturally That comes naturally My uncle won't pay taxes His name he never gives They can't collect his taxes Cause they don't know where he lives Going Sister Sal, whose music cow Has never had a lesson <laughs> to Red Skelton say all of those wonderful things about everybody else. I couldn't help think how much of it is true of himself. Many a time I sat in the audience and watched Red Skelton come out and stop the show. Well, here he is in one of his unique and revealing satires, ready to do it again. Ladies and gentlemen, Red Skelton. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Well, here I am in color television, and the director tells me that I look like a million dollars. <laughs> Wrinkled and green. <laughs> I love television, though. I think it's more fun to watch a television show than it is to go to a movie. As a matter of fact, you, you, when you go to a movie, you do more work to see a show than the actors do to give the performance. Do you ever figure it out? I'll show you what I mean. The trouble starts at the box office. <laughs> <laughs> Changed prices a little early, didn't you? <laughs> How come it's so expensive? They make the Yalta papers into a musical? <laughs> I'll have one in the balcony. <laughs> or the magazine, I don't care. Now you buy your ticket and you go in. And the first guy you meet is the doorman, the personality kid. <laughs> You're broken, he's happy. <laughs> now the next guy you meet is the head usher. They always look like they're wearing starch drawers, these guys. <laughs> next time over, please. Next time over. Now there are plenty of seats down that aisle, but for some reason they send you way over to one side. You come out looking like this, you say, yeah, what happened? Huh? <laughs> you know what's fun is to watch people coming down the aisle looking for a seat, especially in the afternoon when the theater's dark and you can't see where you're going, see? The usher says, there's no seats in there. The guy says, I'll find one. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> you ever see some people when they look for a seat? <laughs> they look... Gee, my skin's leaking. <laughs> you ever notice some people, when they look for a seat, they look like they're going to buy the joint? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> then you have those guys that look like they're going to rob you any minute. <laughs> <laughs> then when you find a seat, oh, you have the one little guy that always looks like he's asking for bread. <laughs> <laughs> never on the aisle, it's always in the middle, and no one gets up. You gotta give it this. Pardon me, may I get in there? <laughs> <laughs> Just you start to sit down, the guy says, this seat's shaking. <laughs> now you gotta work your way back again. <laughs> back out of here. Back out of there. <laughs> There's always a wise guy. <laughs> <laughs> And what is really fun, though, is to watch people eating popcorn in a theater, and they get excited, and they go right and react with a picture. Wait, I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> what did it do, heal up? <laughs> people eating popcorn. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
much talent or ability a fellow has, he'll never quite make it unless he's got a little luck to go along with him. Frank Lesser got the idea down pretty good when he wrote, Luck Be a Lady, one of the great songs from a great show, Guys and Dolls. Harold Lang, assisted by Patty Wharton, is now going to do it for you. In a brand new setting, a gambling casino in a little French city named The best that I can do is pray. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck if you've ever been a lady to begin with. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck let a gentleman see how nice a dame you can be. I know the way you've treated other guys you've been with. Luck be a lady with me. A lady doesn't leave her escort It isn't fair, it isn't nice A lady doesn't wander all over the room And blow on some other guy's dice So let's keep the party polite Never get out of my sight Stick with me, baby, I'm the fella you came in with Luck be a lady Luck be a lady Stick with me, baby Luck be a lady
the lady doesn't wander all over the Stick room. with me, baby, I'm the fella you came in with. date with me the pickings they were lush and yet before the evening was over you've given me the brush she might forget her manners she might forget to stay she's lady luck lady luck lady luck 